Oh, wow. Huh. Now that I think about it. <laughs> that's probably how it was forced into this. What? What? What did I say? What did I say? Force? I don't know. But coerced into this physical plane? Is it somebody with a a powerful resonating? Uh, vibrations with an org feel engulfed other eternal beings within it thus forcing it to conform to its world is that how it happened when the big bang happened it literally sw swallowed everyone else into its wow it literally invaded other people's worlds. It swallowed everyone into it. Oh, wow. Swallow everything into the void. Literally. Wow. <laughs> That's how it happened. Damn. That's why this is proceeding. This is why it's. it's it's literally the false light. It's the light swallowed everyone into its world, crystallizing the spirits in limiting vessels to where it basically is trying it was trying to ensure that we would stay in the confinements of its world. But as we elevate we activate more on our DNA and this solar flare is going to do just that if not wipe us out so we can have the power to wipe out the source wipe out what the, the thing that everything that's confining us here together if and that's what's gonna um, shift everything to where we can wipe this out or it's going to wipe out already and we have the opportunity the shift is going to happen where we have the opportunity to return to eternal relief and pureness to return to the original state before the source of creation decided to create before the big bang, the the vibration ensnaring us into its uh, confinements with, within the um, attributes of the, its world. Its world. Yes, that's what happened. So some willingly conformed to the confine to the um parameters while others choose to still rebel and to find that power and that's where higher consciousness comes in as above so below higher consciousness to build up the power needed to manifest not just the escape but to the wipe as well because the wipeout is the escape So, you can reclaim fully your power. Do I say reclaim your power through the duality? Because it's, it's what's needed to break free from this, these beings or eternal beings or sources that are invading or has swallowed everyone into its parameter. So this will be a grand um, empowerment slash reset slash wipeout um, to give every eternal being its power back to be in the 
its original state of internal relief and purpose to create its own realm and without invading and entrenching on others realms and only through invite or acceptance would they share realms with always that possibility that they can separate again um, but then there's always going to be that, that risk and that's why I don't even want to entertain jumping into anyone else's realm you know what I'm saying or sharing auric fields into a one union because that's where there's a potential still to birth another issue possibly so it's better to just stay in your own bubble <laughs> but I think the shift when it happens is going to be ready for whatever possibly could happen Anyways, so it'll it'll rectify the issue. So, good explanation. Wow, figured it out again. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, thank you for clarity. Hopefully, my testimonies will be clarity to others as well. I'm not going to be hopeful. It is. It is going to be clarity. It is clarity. If you choose to listen.